Right now in News 12, a once-in-a-generation event, the first total eclipse to sweep the U.S. coast to coast in nearly a century. And it was pretty cool, too. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott McGee. And I'm Macy Eglin. Of course, all afternoon, all eyes were looking up at the sky, mm -hmm. hopefully through those protective glasses as the moon blotted out the sun. I may have peaked just for a Me second. Too. Just for a second. News 12's Roman <laughs> Tomlinson watched the eclipse with hundreds of spectators in Yonkers. Long lines Monday, both outside and inside the Hudson River Museum in Yonkers. Oh, maybe kind of three hours. Three hours? Maybe. Oh Hundreds of people showing up ahead of a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm very excited because I've never seen them before. You see it now? Experts standing by, keeping everyone informed about the big event. Some people actually follow the eclipses, they take cruises and uh, go to other countries. Uh, the eclipses occur more often, but not always over the United States. The total solar eclipse is the first across the country from coast to coast in almost a century. And for those who were not able to get their hands on some of these special glasses, there were a few other options. You're going to take the piece of paper, you're going to put it at the paper, then you're going to look through, and then you'll see the eclipse. Dylan McGowan, just one of the kids taking advantage of free workshops, building his own pinhole projector, which seemed to do the trick. What did you think of the eclipse? It was really fun because I've never seen it. And I want to see, and I wish it was once a year, every year. In Yonkers, Brona Tumulty, News 12.